Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. They need you in the test chamber. Doctor Tripoint, Doctor Damon, and Doctor Engels, please report to Lambda Reactor Complex for audit review. Scheduled in fifteen minutes. Good morning, Doctor Freeman. But the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. And yes, about that. We're going to living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction rights? Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? and talk at lunch. I'm rather busy now. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, Gordon, I'm busy. Maybe later, Gordon. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Gordon Freeman. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical fields. What's up, Doc? Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Can this wait? You'll just have to wait until after the test. 
Gordon Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Hmm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Do you Eli. Think you delay for another recalibration? Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. You know, Gordon. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Hmm. This could take a bit longer than I anticipated. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push the button. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Take it from here. Power to stay. 
stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase movies. Stage two emitters activating now. Well, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an exceptional doctor. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Shut it down! It's not, it's not shutting down! Oh no! 